Hello friends, welcome back to Spiritual Moses. In the last week's episode, we saw a reason from the Bible why the birth of Jesus might not have actually been in the month of December. But we celebrate the reason for his birth. Today I would like to show you another incident from the Bible that indicates that the birth of Jesus was most probably not in December. In the previous episode, we saw the angel appearing to Mary in Luke chapter 1. But before appearing to Mary, he appeared to an elderly priest who was childless and whose name was Zechariah in, in Luke chapter 1 and tells him that he was going to become a father soon. Luke chapter 1 verse 5 says that the priest Zechariah belonged to the order of Abijah. Now, in the Old Testament, in 1 Chronicles chapter 23, we see David assigning duties to the priests to serve at the temple. And in chapter 24, we see that the priests were divided into orders according to their families and each order would take turns to serve at the temple. In 1 Chronicles chapter 24 verse 10, we see the lot falling on the order of Abijah, this very same order that Zechariah belonged to. The Jewish historian Josephus records the dates when these priestly orders were performing their priestly duties in the temple of Jerusalem at different periods of time in his historical records. And uh, the historians use these historical records to calculate and they have come to a conclusion that Zechariah was serving at the temple when the angel appeared to him in the month of June which would mean that John the Baptist was born in the month of March of the next year. Now John we know from the Bible was the cousin of Jesus who was six months older to Jesus which means March plus six months Jesus would have been born in the month of, De of, of September and not in the month of December. However, as I said earlier, the focus is not on when he was born, but on why he was born. Jesus himself explained the purpose of his birth, the purpose of his coming. He, he See, people often say that we must listen to a person and believe what a person says about himself and not what others talk about that person. When Jesus appeared in public for the first time for ministry in Luke chapter 4, uh, in Luke chapter 4 verse 17, we see he opened the scroll of Isaiah and read from Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 and 2. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to announce release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to send forth as delivered those who are oppressed, to proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord. After he read this, he rolled up the scroll and said, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your presence. My dear friends, during Christmas, we spend a lot of money and our time and energy on decorations, cakes, food, clothes, gifts, caroling, practices, and all these things. But today I would like to encourage you to open our spiritual eyes and see why Jesus came into this world. He said he came to set the captives free. If we celebrate Christmas with all our time and energy and money, but continue to live as captives to our secret sins, to the generational curses, captives to, to unforgiveness, captives to bitterness, what's the point of celebrating Christmas? Come to Jesus with all your heavy burden and all your impossibilities believe in him for he said he has come to set the captives free i believe you will be set free if you believe in jesus today god bless you